Welcome to the Inventor's Corner. I'm Herb Greenberg, and our guest today is Harold Parker. Good to see you, Harold. Nice to meet you, sir. Now, Harold's uh, been an inventor since what? Uh, since, since about 2003. Is that, is that when this happened? Uh, actually, that was in 95 and 96. Well, let's, let's say you were an inventor back in 1995 and 96. How okay. old were you then? I was, you didn't even know you were an inventor then. No, sir. I sure didn't. And, and how old were you back in 1995, 96? Let's see, I graduated when I was about 18 years old. <laughs> okay. So what we're talking about is back in 1996, um, Harold was part of a team of students at Northampton School that d developed, uh, entered and developed an electric car yes, sir. in a national race. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we had a program called Eve Corps, which is which means Electric Vehicle Corporation, and a group of students got together with four schools and uh, actually uh, teamed up to actually race the electric cars in a competition. Uh, we raced in Richmond International Raceway, and also in Phoenix, Arizona Public Raceway. Uh, the schools were Weldon, North Carolina High School. There was uh, Northampton East. There was uh, Northwest Halifax and Northampton County School West. Did they combine to make one, or did each one compete? We actually combined as a team to make one to compete. Okay, and uh, so you, the four schools in, in Northampton County and Halifax combined, got together, built an electric car, and was competing in Richmond and in Phoenix. Exactly. And tell us how you did and some of the results. Uh, well, the first optical, obstacle we had to overcome was uh, finances. So yes. uh, I think that's the first thing in everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had, uh, me and my brother, We I got a identical twin, by the way. Uh-oh. We went out and we used to sing songs, you know. Uh, uh, we made an electrical car song. And we also did different displays at different places, you know, to actually help raise funds. Uh, from there, we actually began to work on the uh, cars. We had things such as battery check monitoring system, the, uh, working with the Horizon batteries, the US 2300s. We had the DC DC converter, uh, a lot of different parts of the car we had to actually use to make it. Uh, now, how I came about was uh, I was taking electrical trades in Northampton County School West. Uh, my teacher, was his name was Norman Joyner. And um, actually, he taught us about the series per, uh, circuits, the parallel circuits, uh, how to do commercial and uh, residential wiring. And uh, I was actually an A student. I, I entered in on uh, the Vicar Club. I was president of that, the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America, and also I was president of uh, DECA, which is the Distributed Educational Clubs of America. Super. And, and so they finally you raised the finances, you built the car, and what happened? After building the car, we actually went to uh, enter into the race. We had some obstacles. Then we had to overcome we had a couple of aerodynamic issues, but uh, we pulled it off. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just so much that was involved. But we managed to pull it off as a team. Uh, our coaches, Eric Ryan, Harold, Harold Miller uh, from Jackson, and Eric Ryan from California, uh, George Hufford, who was the actual engineer. Uh, and of course, my instructor, Norman Joyner, was uh, some key factors of the electronics and all the building, the actual maintenance of the car also. Um, um, and and so you entered in Richmond, and what? How did you do? You won. You we actually won first place. And how how many different schools were entered into this? We had about about twenty schools, and we had a couple of schools actually uh, making fun of us because, uh, you know, as you can tell, I have this heavy country <laughs> accent, <laughs> you know, and they just thought one I even had the nerve to uh, tell my instructor say, you know, you guys made a car out of. Uh, a, a, a horse's wheel, you know, and bill of hay, you know, so you got it. It felt like that, didn't it? Yes. Sir.